Now a short quiz to test our understanding so far. Proprietor used the rented building both for business purposes as well as for personal purposes equally. The rent actually paid during the year for the building was 1,32,000 debited to rent expenses in the books of the business. One month rent is still outstanding. Liability of the business for outstanding rent is A. 11,000 B. 12,000 C. 5,500 and B. 6,000 Rent is 1,32,000. Therefore, rent for they have paid 1,32,000 not for 12 months but for 11 months. 1,32,000 has been paid for 11 months because one month's rent is still outstanding. Therefore, the rent per month is equal to 12,000. Per month, the rent of the building is 12,000. Half of it is for the business. Half of it is for personal purposes equally. Therefore, one month rent is outstanding. Liability for outstanding rent should be one month's rent for half the premises should be 6,000. Correct answer, D. Next, profit before taking into account following adjustments was 7 lakh. What were the adjustments were not taken into consideration? 1. 1 lakh spent on purchase of motor car for business purposes has been treated as an expense in profit and loss account. 2. 15,000 per month rent outstanding for the month of February and March has not been taken into account. So the profit options are A. 7,70,000 B. 7,85,000 C. 6,15,000 and D. 6,30,000 Profit as given 7 lakh. 1 lakh is spent on purchase of motor car for business purposes. It is treated as, as an expense. So it's it has been it's motor car, it has been treated as an expense. If we took it as an expense to that extent, profit was down. Let us now bring the profit to the correct amount. 15,000 per month rent is outstanding for the month of February and March not taken into thing. So outstanding rent would reduce the amount of profit. How much is that? 15,000 per month for two months. 30,000 we need to bring down the profit. Therefore, the correct answer should be 7,70,000. Option A should be the correct answer. Option A, 7,70,000. Next. If closing stock appears in the trial balance, then it appears in A, the trading account, B, profit and loss account, C, balance sheet, and D, profit and loss appropriation account. If closing stock appears in the trial balance, it is an asset and will be taken to the balance sheet. If it is not in the trial balance, it comes outside the trial balance, then it is shown on the credit side of the trading account as well as asset side of balance sheet. But if it appears in the trial balance, it appears only in the balance sheet. Correct answer C, balance sheet. Next, opening capital is 1,60,000, drawings is 30,000, capital at the end of the year is 1,35,000. What is the net profit or loss? A, 6,000, B, 5,000, C, 5,500 and D, 7,000.
Opening capital one lakh sixty thousand. Drawings thirty thousand. Capital at the end of the year one lakh thirty five thousand. Net loss for the year ten thousand. What must be the additional capital brought in by the owner? A sixteen thousand. B fifteen thousand. C fifteen five hundred. And D seventeen thousand. How do we present capital in the balance sheet? I can say opening capital one lakh sixty thousand, less drawings thirty thousand, net loss less loss would be ten thousand. We are therefore talking of one lakh twenty thousand as of now. But what is our capital at the end of the year? It is one lakh thirty-five thousand. Therefore, balancing figure. This is the closing capital. So, balancing figure must be the fresh capital introduced. Fresh capital. That is fifteen thousand. This is the balancing figure. Therefore, can we say the fresh capital introduced is fifteen thousand? Option B. Correct answer: fifteen thousand. Option B: fifteen thousand. Next, opening balance of debtors is thirty-five thousand. Cash received from debtors thirty thousand. Cash sales twenty thousand, which is twenty percent of total sales. Bills receivable received for forty thousand and discount allowed is one percent of cash collection. So we have to find out the closing debtors. A fifteen three hundred. B forty four seven hundred, C sixty four seven hundred, and D thirty five seven hundred. A quick way of doing this would be to prepare a debtor's account. Opening balance is thirty five thousand. Cash received from debtors, cash account debit to debtors. Money is received. That's thirty thousand. Cash sales is twenty thousand. That is twenty percent of total sales. So twenty percent of X. Of course, in this case, it would be obvious. But twenty percent of X is twenty thousand. Therefore, X or total sales is equal to twenty thousand into hundred by twenty equal to one lakh. This is what cash sales. This is total sales. Cash sales is twenty percent. So credit sales. Credit sales is eighty percent or eighty thousand, eighty percent of one lakh. Entry for sales debtors account debit to sales. We've got eighty thousand. So we've taken care of opening debtors. We have taken care of debt uh, cash received. We have taken care of sales bills receivable received. For forty thousand, so bills receivable account debit to debtors, credited debtors, discount allowed is one percent of cash collection. One percent of cash collection. That should be one percent of thirty thousand. Three hundred. Find the closing debtors. What would be the closing debtors now? Forty-four thousand seven hundred. Correct answer should be B. This is the balance carried down. It's a balancing figure. Balancing figure. This is the closing debtors. Opening balance of debtors given. Cash received from debtors given. Credit sales we have computed. Bills receivable received forty thousand. 
This is the discount which has been allowed. The balancing figure is the closing balance 44,700. Correct answer should be B 44,700. Sundry debtors as at the year end are 60,200. Further bad debts 200. Provision for doubtful debts to be made at the rate of 5% and provision for discount on debtors to be made at the rate of 2%. Amount of provision on Provision for discount on debtors would be A. 1140 B. 2750 C. 1100 D. 2760 Debtors 6200 Less bad debts, 200. So we have 60,000. Next, provision for doubtful debts is 5%. Provision, 5%. That's 3,000. So you have 57,000 now. And then you have 2% discount on debtors. So provision for discount on debtors is 2%. 2% 2 of 57,000 giving you 1140. This should be the amount of provision for discount on debtors. Correct answer should be A 1140. Discount on debtors. Provision for discount on debtors.